welcome. So what I want to do is I want to go through a, a problem that's going to have us kind of work in a couple separate different problems to be able to figure out the answer. And this problem can get a little confusing, so I'm going to read it through once, and then I'm going to work through it a couple times to kind of slow down and really try to make you, help you digest the information. So it says, from a point 300 feet from a building. So automatically, uh, let me read through the problem first. 300 feet from the building. The angle of elevation to the base of the antenna of the roof is 26.6 degrees. And the angle of elevation to the top of the antenna is 31.5 degrees. Determine the height h of the antenna. Let's back up. So it says, from the point, 300 feet from a building. Trustee Heron reports to the main office. Trustee Heron reports to the main office. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a building, right? And then it just says, from a point, 300 feet. from the building. The angle of elevation, remember angle of elevation is going to be your angle above your horizontal axis or angle above your horizontal line. So we have a horizontal line here. Let's say here's our point, our angle of elevation to the base of an antenna on top of the roof. So now they're saying, oh, well, there's this little antenna thing. I don't know, it's going to be my antenna. So to the base of that antenna, the angle of elevation is 26.6 degrees. All right, so for angle of elevation, 300 feet away from the building to the basin of an antenna that is on top of the roof. Then it says the angle and the angle of elevation to the top of the antenna is 31.5. So now I have here up to the top of the antenna is now that angle is 31.5 degrees. Now what they want us to do is to determine the height h of the antenna. So they want us to figure out what this is. But there's a problem with that is because we don't, we don't know what this is nor do we know what this distance is, right? From x. However, if we can use our distance, if we can use our triangles to help us find x, and then help us find uh, what h or help us find x and find um, x plus h. Then what we can do is we can be able to figure out if we can now figure out that distance and that distance, we can now subtract x and x plus h to be able to figure out what h is. So the first thing I'd like to do is let's see, let's kind of break apart these triangles. First thing is we know we're dealing straight up, so we're going to be dealing with the right triangle. So let's go and take a look at our first triangle that we have. And that's going to be the one with the smaller angle of elevation, which is 26.6 degrees, 300, and then to the top of the, the base of the antenna, which I don't think actually I wrote down. And they give us to that, I believe. They say 300 point from a building. No, so we don't know. Um, so we need to figure out what x is, right? That is going to be our x. OK, cool. So to figure out what x is, we look at our problem and say, all right, I have the opposite side and the adjacent side, and I have my angle. So what trigonometric um, function is going to let me use the opposite and the adjacent to be able to figure out what my opposite is? Well, what we could say is the tangent of 26.6 degrees is equal to the opposite over my adjacent side. So therefore, x equals 300 times the tangent of 26.6 degrees. Now, I can just go and use my calculator to multiply this out, which I left over here. So therefore, I have 300 times the tangent of 26.6 degrees. And that's going to leave me with x equals 150.23. All right, not so bad, right? So now I know x equals 150.23. Now I need to be able to figure out what this large distance is, right? Because if I can take the height of the from if I could take the height from the base to the top of the antenna and subtract the height to, from the base to the base of the antenna, to subtract those two distances is going to give me the height of my antenna. So now I have a larger triangle, but they gave me that angle of elevation, which is now 31.5. I still have 300, but now I need to figure out what this distance is for y. So I'm going to follow the exact same formula, except now I'm going to be solving for y, and I'm going to use a new angle of elevation. So I can say y equals 300 
times the tangent of 31.5. So I do 300 times the tangent of 31.5. And that's going to give me 183.84. So therefore, this distance is 183.84. So if from here to here is 183.84, and from here to here is 150.23, I subtract the two. And that's going to give me my distance. So I say 180.84 minus 150.23. Cool? It's awesome. So therefore, I'm going to have a 30.61. And that distance is we are dealing with feet. So my height of my antenna is going to be 30.61 feet. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a problem with multiple triangles. Thanks.